Hello everyone, my name is Jeanette Smith and I am just starting to do videos because I got into um, crafting um, ever since I've been home because I had back surgery. So I got bored, I've been working two jobs, so I needed to get myself into something because I was driving myself crazy and I was going to pull my hairs out. Also what got me into crafting is my something that my sister always did and, um, and after she passed away in November, um, you know, I mean, it encouraged me and it inspired me to go ahead and start doing it again. So, um, this is the reason why um, I'm doing it again. Um, I started in my bedroom with, sorry for the camera, with um, boxes and crates and all different type of stuff putting it under my bed next to the bed um then i started hauling them in the dining room and the living room and then some stuff i was bringing it into the garage then one day i picked up a um shelf and a very small desk um maybe about i guess a two two feet long or something like that and i just started crafting there but it was very small. It was hard for me to do a lot of stuff and I was just using a basic chair. And so I got these items from Facebook and then I got um, somebody with offer at the time when I was picking up a, um, a craft bag. Some lady told me, hey, if you come to my house, I'll leave it on my porch. You can have it for free. And as I was picking that up, somebody else was giving up a free um, office chair. So I went and picked that up as well. I mean, of course, it's not in my area. But for something for free, you don't mind going somewhere. So I was able to pick that up. Um, then around Christmas time, I picked up a six-foot-long um, table from Walmart. And I used it for um, Christmas and Thanksgiving. I'm sorry, for Christmas. And... Um, so I used it, you know, for dinner and stuff like that. Then after that, I was like, what am I going to use it for? So I decided to grab a little corner of my um, garage. Yes, it gets cold, it gets hot, but it don't matter because when it gets cold, I wear a hoodie or bring a little heater in here. Or when it gets um, hot, I do have the fan or I put the door up like it shows there. And if you see, I have my little fan going right there. So it's it's fine with me. I'm not one of those like my husband that he's hot blooded. You know, I can work with it. And if I get to the point where I'm either too hot or too cold, I just walk inside the house for a little bit, do something else, and then just come right back to what I was doing. And um, so, anyways, like I said, I was um, I decided to create a little corner, and um, and that's what I've been doing actually, and I'm very happy with it. Um, my with my back surgery, it's been a very slow progress because here we are now and we're going into May and you know, I'm still out of work, which is still driving me crazy. But I, like I said, I have been able to pick up a lot of crafting. So I have been able to decorate my home um, to my expectations and to what I like, which is cool because when I go shopping or sometimes I just go window shopping to like Home Goods or TJ Maxx, or any of those other um, stores, I've been able to look at stuff that I like and try to mimic a little bit. Um, not exactly, but you know, I just try to do a couple of things that I'm able to do. So it's been very helpful. It's been um, very therapeutic, you know, and it's you know stress-free. So it has been helping me, you know, mentally um, in my recovery process, um, you know. So I'm very appreciative. Of crap you know more than norms um, just to show you something that has been that has helped me in my process as well is um, something that I put on my craft table that has helped me for inspiration let me see if you're able to see it um, that is um, the picture of my sister and um, those are the flowers that um, she actually put in a vase this is the actual vase that she used and i have put bling on it and um those flowers and the pebbles um those are what she used 
um, the vase kept falling down and I did have a bigger picture and it kept falling down so I decided to go ahead and um, get a smaller picture and I got a tray from Dollar Tree and I threw some of the pebbles around it and I grabbed a smaller candle holder and I put pictures of the um some stickers there butterflies which was she like and I added her her um flowers so that keeps my memory going um she did pass of um cancer she um she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer originally but by the time she was diagnosed she was already at stage three and so it was um, basically too late um to help her um so she um went directly to um, chemo so she had two sets a series of chemo when she was going on her third series and she had her cat scan um it actually um they stopped her chemos because it was spread too far so she had a spread all over her body um she had a tumor in her heart a big one in her stomach to the point where it looked like she had a basketball in her stomach and so in um the beginning of October, um, that's when they stopped everything, and um, they decided in mid-October to put her in hospice, but she didn't want to go into a hospice. She wanted to stay at home with her husband and the doggies. She didn't have any kids, um, fortunately. So, um, but she stayed at home. She did everything all the way to about three or four days prior to her um, passing, and um, but she fell a couple of days before she passed, and... She, that's when I received the call because I was going to go there um, like a week before I went there originally. So I went there um, on the 18th and she passed on the 21st. Um, she wasn't able to walk or do anything on her own. So that where, that's where it brought, I already had back issues, but that's where it brought um, my back going out because I had to help, you know, assist with um, bathing her and changing her diaper and stuff. So very hard um you know she's my older sister she's the one that i was raised with i said that i wasn't gonna cry in this video but it gets me very emotional because that was the only sister that i grew up with i do have five sisters on my dad's side which has helped me a lot and they have been very supportive and couldn't thank god enough for giving me such a large family but this is the sister on my mom's side that i grew up with and I always looked up to and she passed a month before she turned her 50th and um, we were supposed to do a big party because we know she was going to last and so it was pretty hard but she has inspired me you know to be healthier and make sure that I get my checkups and you know to do a lot of stuff that I know that I wouldn't have done um, but um, that's life you know um, it happens and you know, I just encourage everyone to, you know, do what you feel that, you know, it's right. Make sure you take care of yourself, you know, do what inspires you, um, you know, don't let stress, you know, hit you. Do stuff that is stress-free, you know, like I said, crafting is something that, you know, do your is something that has helped me, you know, get through my you know, ups and downs and my tough times. And, um, you know, I just hope that this video will help someone else. You know, again, you know, my name is Jeanette, and you know, everyone calls me Janie. Um, you know, I just want to show you a little bit of what I was able um, to create a little bit. So, if you don't have, um, you know, an area in your home, you know, a, a cat craft room, which I don't have because we have, you know, kids, so each one of them has to have their own room. So, like I said, I was able to create a little area. So, as you can see, the car in the back. Um, so, if you give me a second, let me um, go ahead and switch it, and I can show you what I did. Um, okay, give me a moment.